since it's almost 2020, what was your favorite movie of the decade? Watching Inception at the cinema was my greatest movie experience. It's been downhill ever since, for me. Wish I could watch it for the first time again. The Death of Stalin. As a British history buff with a dark sense of humor, that film was gold. Watched this on a plane, and didn't know what I was getting into. I thought it might be some kind of historical drama. I was laughing so hard the person next to me thought I was insane. Whiplash. Incredible film about the price, sacrifices of extreme ambition, how the pursuit of greatness can consume someone and warp who they truly are. Carried by incredible performances from J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller. The ending scene can be both extremely uplifting but also deeply haunting. Loved every second of it. And G.T. Incredible film about the price, sacrifices of extreme ambition, how the pursuit of greatness can consume someone and warp who they truly are. Same but for Black Swan and The Wrestler. The Florida Project, Ex Machina, Whiplash. The Florida Project was so well done. I'm from Orlando and work in social services now and the whole thing just really hit home. Arrival. Okay so I'm genuinely curious because everyone I know who's seen it weren't fans, and as a result I never watched it myself. What about the movie left a lasting impression on you? Knew nothing about the story, and generally do not like alien movies. It ended up being my fave film of 2016. The movie is a true experience. It is unlike any alien movie that I've seen. For me, Arrival is an example of what film is all about, making you see the world in a different way, seeing things from a different point of view. On a deeper, personal level it spoke to me spiritually, but that's not what everyone will get out of it. On the most surface level, it's an amazing suspense film as yeah. Also, Amy Adams is phenomenal. Interstellar. Great story in cinematography. That was one of the best movie experiences I've had. I heard nothing about it, didn't see a single trailer and went in completely blind. The Grand Budapest Hotel that one movie got me into the Wes Anderson rabbit hole, love it. This is one of my favorite movies ever. It holds a special place in my heart for pushing me to look outside of my comfort zone when it comes to movies. What We Do in the Shadows. That movie is an 11 tenths for me. Why 11? Why not 12 or 10,000? At Max Fury Road. Probably my coolest cinema experience. John Wick. The first one was simple, had a beautiful aesthetic, and has some of the best real action in a Western film this year. I've enjoyed the sequels, but they've added a more complicated story and are messing with my suspension of disbelief more and more. Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse. An extremely funny film with stunning animation, great soundtrack and amazing writing. Came here to post Into the Spider-Verse. It has so much heart and it's so refreshing to watch. Or High Water. Hunt for the Wilder People, Black Swan and Whiplash, The Martian, love that movie, the National Potato Association agrees, the Lego Movie, if you told me in 2010 a Lego Movie would make me cry I would run away because of how crazy you sound, on paper that movie shouldn't have been as good as it was, Logan, deep and realistic superhero movie, I can write a 20 page essay about how good that movie is, my stupid brain read the opus, what was your least favorite movie? of the decade, and your comment immediately pissed me off. Then I reread the op, and I couldn't agree more. Sicario. Outstanding directing and cinematography by Villeneuve and Deacons. Incredible soundtrack by Johan Johansson. Amazing cast and performances. A masterclass in building tension. The convoy trip to Mexico and border crossing scene in particular is my single favorite scene of any film this decade. That border crossing scene is just awesome. The Cabin in the Woods. Funny, scary, with a good twist that is slowly revealed throughout the movie. An easy watch and it's a good go-to if you have friends over and are in the mood for a horror movie. Definitely the John Wick movies. Wolf of the Wall Street. There it is. Drive. Bad times at the El Royale. Hereditary. That movie was absolutely insane and it still haunts me after seeing it when it was still in theaters. That's the mark of a good horror movie. Inside Out. Blade Runner 2049. Better than the original and a fantastic sequel up there with the greats. Couldn't agree more. Excellent movie. Actually everything from Denis Villeneuve has been incredible. Interstellar. This movie really touched my heart. I'm really interested in the universe and the future of our mankind. Plus Hans Zimmer did a great job with the music. Music. This movie is one of my I wish I could delete it from my memory to experience it again. Movies. 
Fun fact, the ticking sound you hear on the water planet is every 1.25 seconds and equals one day on Earth. Credit to you, a kick 31, he did. How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World I don't think any movie has stayed in my mind as much as The Lighthouse. Maybe Blade Runner 2049. Those are the top two for sure. Just saw The Lighthouse yesterday in an almost empty cinema. What a masterpiece indeed. Edge of Tomorrow. Best sci-fi flick ever. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse I'm still salty it wasn't nominated for Best picture. It won Best Animated Picture which is already awesome. I'm salty that it is the lowest grossing Spider-Man movie. There might be a stigma on animated movies. I think it was also to do with the style of animation being different from what everyone was used to. It's absolutely gorgeous, but people weren't sure about it. If they make a sequel, I bet it'll be making a lot more money. We need to talk about Kevin 2011. Baby Driver I've been a fan of Edgar Wright since seeing Shaun of the Dead in theaters, and I'm of the opinion that he is one of the few directors who has never put out a bad movie, and gets progressively better with each film this year. Baby Driver was an expert realization of his own particular style, blending several genres, his impeccable taste in music, and his signature visual language in pacing, storytelling, setup and delivery. It somehow managed to balance feeling simultaneously timeless and of the 2010s. Baby Driver isn't my personal favorite of all his movies, but I think it stands as his best realized work and I was amazed it was also finally successful in theaters with a mass audience instead of a slow burn cult classic like the rest of the monsieur. If you haven't seen it yet, here is a from the latter half of the movie where all of the action choreography is matched up to the song Hocus Pocus by Focus. If that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. I couldn't believe they used Focus. It was awesome. Django Unchained. I had to scroll WAAY too far for this masterpiece. I really loved Blade Runner 2049. Edge of Tomorrow. Huh. Need to see this my brother told me it's about a guy who wishes his had USB capabilities and I A couldn't stop laughing and B couldn't bring myself to sit down with a serious head on and watch it definitely gonna sit down and watch this before year is up. Beautiful movie. Saw it this year. Really touched me. Hashtag WHIPLASH. The three standouts for me are Your Name a Silent Voice Mad Max. Fury Road and not a full movie but Kung Fury was great and I'm looking forward to the second one. Warrior it came out before people really knew who Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton were, so it didn't perform too well. But that movie is amazing. It will give you all the feels. The Witch. Some of my favorites. Zero Dark Thirty. Buried. The Social Network. The Wolf of Wall Street. Hereditary. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The Nice Guys. Underrated. John Wick. Scott Pilgrim Monsieur, The Intouchables, I haven't cried in years, who knew that the film to come closest to cracking me would be this uplifting, Birdman or Coco, Coco was just, a masterpiece, a piece of art, amazing movie, Hereditary will stay with me for a long time, Call Me By Your Name 1, 8th Grade 1, Midsummer. I really love Lady Bird, Spotlight, the combination of the subject matter, the incredible cast, and the moving score made it unforgettable. It was never a movie I thought I was going to enjoy let alone rewatch but it was so good. Kingsman. The Secret Service I mean it's my favorite movie ever. I just like how they're mocking normal spy movies. What did you think of the sequel? Your name aka Kimi no Nawa. Mad Max. Fury Road. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Didn't even have to think about it. Get Out. Definitely at the top of my list. Can't believe no one has said it yet. One of my favorite movie experiences. Totally changed the game in horror and comedy. Inception. Arrival. Interstellar. Endgame. Whiplash. Knives Out. Get Out. Ex Machina. The Wolf of Wall Street. Parasite to name a few. Great decade for movies tbh. Dunkirk the most intense cinematic experience I can remember. End of watch. Baby driver. No ex 
explanation necessary. Wind River I had no expectations going in and I just thought it was so well written, highlighting an area nobody really acknowledges, and it was an emotional roller coaster which I was really invested in. Avengers Endgame. I can still hear the theater cheering. The payoff that comes after watching the 21 movies in the MCU that came before it since 2008 was so good and so worth it lol. I think this is a good thread to pick movies I haven't seen yet. Ex Machina and Annihilation deserve a mention. Garland is a fantastic director. Dread was a good watch too. The Master Dunkirk Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 just hits like none other. Lord of the Rings. Blu-ray Extended Editions came out in 2011, so it counts. It still only counts as one. Inception. I have to pick one. I can't do that lol. My top favorites are Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Zootopia, Kung Panda 2, The Incredibles 2, and Toy Story 3. If it wasn't obvious already, I am an animation nut lol. Megamind very good character development and underrated. Hereditary. Seeing that in the theater was game-changing. Such a great and scary movie. Drive. There will be blood. A Daniel Day-Lewis masterclass. Coco. I'm a guitar player, and I love art, and emotion, and music, and it was the perfect combination of all those things. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. It's my favorite movie period. Infinity War. Into the Spider-Verse. Pacific Rim the first one. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World changed my music taste forever. The other guys. Inception from 2010, followed closely by Logan in 2017. The Lego Movie. Very funny feel-good movie. I'm stuck between Step Brothers and Hot Fuzz. Deadpool, followed by Deadpool 2, followed by Once Upon a Deadpool. Now I have a Christmas movie to watch after Die Hard, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Joker, Can't Wait for the Blu-ray, Lion, Kimi no Na Wolf of Wall Street, not really one movie but the new trilogy of the Planet of the Apes. The Wolf of Wall Street, The Big Short, Arrival, Hands Down, Cough Cough Zootopia Cough, Dunkirk was just a masterpiece of a movie. Captain America, The Winter Soldier was the film that officially got me into the MCU. Avengers, Endgame wrapped up the MCU in a nice little bow. It is truly epic. Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens showed me what it was like to watch a Star Wars movie in the theater. In short, it was awesome. Bumblebee was the Transformers' first live-action outing, and it was great. Lincoln was a great portrait of one of the USA's most influential figures.